Hi, welcome back to Mystic Chemistry. This is Charles Gasol, lesson number five. Again, you can look at the flow chart up there. And one atmosphere equals 760 millimeters of mercury, which equals 760 tor, which equals 101.325 kilopascals, which equals 1,325 pascals, which equals 1.013 bar, which equals 14.7 psi. Standard temperature pressure, when mentioned, is 0 degrees Celsius and 1 atm. 1 millimeter of mercury equals 1 tor, K equals C plus 273.5, 1 milliliter equals 1 cubic centimeter. I prefer to use milliliters and liters, of course. Um, Charles Law is V1 over T1 equals V2 over T2, or better yet put, V1 T2 equals V2 T1. And of course, pressure is our constant with Charles Law. All right, let's look at our first problem. A gas occupies 2 liters at STP. Well, that means the volume at STP, right? So the temperature, you get two liters, their volume. Our temperature is going to be zero degrees Celsius. What's the new volume when it is 327 degrees centigrade? All right, so let's go ahead and convert our temperatures. Obviously, T1 is going to equal 273.15. K because zero plus anything is that number. T2, a little bit more complex. We take 327 plus 273.15 Ks, of course, and this is our T2 temperature is now going to be, let me take my calculator here, uh, 327 plus 273.15. Wee doggy, yeah, it's going to be 600. Uh, and point 0.1 Kelvin. Yeah. So let's go ahead and, and we're looking for V2. So isolate for V2. V2 equals V1 T2 over T1. So V2 equals, of course, 2.00 liters times T2, which is 600.15 K divided by our T1, which is 273.15 K. K's cancel out. V2 is going to equal, let's see here, 600.15 times 2 yep, divided by 273.15, and that's going to give me 4.2. Three nine liters. Excellent. All right. So let's look at our next problem here, guys. Okay. So our next problem clearly states what volume change occurs if 250 milliliter is heated from 40 Celsius to 52 degrees Celsius. So our T1 temperature is 40.0 degrees C. T2 temperature is 52 degrees C. Our volume is 250 milliliters to start with. Okay, now we need to convert our temperatures first. So remember that T1 is going to be 40 plus 273. So T1 is going to equal, get the old calculator out, 273.15 plus 40 going to equal 313.15 313.15 K T2 on the other hand is going to be 52 plus 273.15 so T2 is going to equal of course see 273.15 plus 52 it's going to equal 325.15 K All right, now, isolate for V2. So V2 equals V1 T2 over T1. V2 equals, of course, 250 milliliters times our T2 temperature, which was 325.15 K, divided by our T1 temperature, 
course, which was 313.15k. K's cancel out. So V2 is going to equal, let's see here, 250 times 325.15. It's a pretty big number there. Divide it by 313.15, and we get 259.58 milliliters. So 259.58 five eight milliliters well that's it for this lesson you guys be snarly and we'll see you back here at moosine chemistry